Welcome back to Starfield everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I built this laser beam. No mods, no glitch building. Now compared to my Shadow Star I was able to squeeze out a little bit more cargo. Pay no attention to this 988 cargo because I bought a few ships so I, so I can build more models and uh, it just came with extra junk which I just need to sell because it's taking up space. <laughs> Before I tell you the requirements, I'm going to talk about weapons really quickly. Now, I am using four Disruptor 3320 Neutron Beams, four Disruptor 3310 Proton Beams, and four Disruptor 3300 Electron Beams. Now, I have found that this is an excellent combination. It will destroy these ships. However, if you're a pirate or if you want to steal and board your ship, board your enemy ships to steal them, this will basically destroy it before you can even have a chance to board them. So, translation, you pirates, you might want to try a different combination. For the requirements, I highly recommend being level 60, max out piloting, max out starship design, and have at least 100k on you, maybe a little more. I can't confirm at this time the total price this will cost, but shipbuilding is pretty expensive, so you're, you're going to want some money. Now, it is possible that some of these parts will unlock at a sh lower level, but save yourself a headache, just hit level 60 and max out those two skills. Trust me, just save yourself a headache. Okay, now, pause the video and look in the description. I have every core component and where to get it. If you have an outpost with a landing pad, there's a good chance you're going to get the majority of this stuff right there. But other than that, you're going to have to fly around, buy all this stuff, slap it on whatever ship you want to build. Just going to use this frontier as a quick example. Now, your ship is going to look very derpy when you put on these random parts, but it is what it is. And this particular design is meant for a future project that I haven't done yet. And I'd like to point out, you can use whatever HABs you want to use. For the sake of lower weight, I am using one 2x3 mess hall from Hope Tech. I am using a 2x2 two two Hope Tech battle station. And of course, those are found in Hope Town. Whatever combination you want to use, this is a 2x3 two and a 2x2. Two two. If you wanted to go with five... 2x1s, 8 times 5 That's like 40 pounds compared to 12 and 10. That's 22. And the ultimate goal is to stay under 1020 because if you add a single pound to this mass you'll start losing mobility. Now once you're done flying around, buying all these things, and make sure you grab those Hope Tech thrusters at hometown, Come on down to New Atlantis, the wonderful starting area of the game, and that is where we will throw all of this wonderful stuff together. Okay, pay no attention to the lack of ship weapons. I just simply got rid of them for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, I always start with my landing bay, and for this I'm using the Hope 4 landing bay. Now for you, this will most likely be right in the center of the map. It'll just be easier for me to throw it over here to explain it better. Next up is your Armstrong 20R cockpit. You're going to want that right in the front of this, just like that. And now for a 2x1 captain's quarters. You can use whatever hab you want, but I just prefer a captain's quarters. Place it right behind the cockpit. Next on the list is a 110 DP docker and it says bottom so flip it if you wanted to go top but we're going bottom. Go right underneath this captain's quarters. Next up you are going to want two demo swing A ports and two demo swing C STBD. Grab your wing and you want this front tip to be lined up directly with the nose of the cockpit. And do the same thing with this one. Grab this sucker, put it here, and this sucker, plop you there. 
Now get yourself two Damal Spine C4. And make sure it's pointed that way so the little part is facing behind the ship. First one is going to go right behind the cockpit. Second one is going to go right behind that. So it looks just like that. Okay, next up you're going to want three Nova Bracers. Go ahead and plop them all in a row. And grab a Hope Tech Thruster and put it in just like that. And you're going to want two Toto. So that's one, two, three Bracers and one Hope Tech Thruster. Okay, now you want to line it up so this, this part right here, the thruster, lines up with the nose of the cockpit. Which is right there. That one there is too far. And that one there is not far enough. So, boom, right there. Whoop. And same thing for this one. Yes, just like so. Next up is our 2x3 hab and our 2x2 hab. You're going to want that one right there. So it's lined up evenly with your captain's quarters. And now place the 2x2 hab right next to it. Okay, now you are going to want two 3x1 habs, whichever hab you want to choose. And this first one is going to go directly under this, right there. So it's sticking out in the back by one. And do the same thing for this side. Just like that. Okay, now for some landing gear. We want three pinpoint 3G landing gear. And I just want to point out that this comes with different variants. We got front, middle, and back. We're going to want one each. So plop one right here. Put the middle one obviously right here. And then right here for the third. And for the other side, we are going to want another three. Exactly the same thing. We got front, middle, and back. Now those are the only six landing gears on this ship. I thought about putting one like right here, but eh, I think that's a little bit overkill. Looks just fine the way it is. And now get your Hope Tech thrusters. We need two total. Grab it and plop it right here. So it's right on the top. Nothing fancy, just whoop. Now for this next step, I am going directly under the ship. Okay, so grab four Storm Max 30 cargo holds. Place the first one right there. Second one there. Third right here. And fourth right there. Go ahead and grab your reactor. Plop you right in between those two. And now for the grav drive, which is right in between those two. Go ahead and change your camera view if you need to. Grab your fuel tank and plop you right there. And time for the engines. We have four White Dwarf 3015 engines. I'm gonna place the first one right above that cargo container. Put the other one above the second cargo and just put these right next to it. Just like that. Now we're going to need two Demo Spine C aft. These ones are just for weapon mounts, so it is optional, but plop it right there. And the other one, right there as well. Again, those are for weapon mounts, and that is completely optional. Okay, and now we need one Nova Calane 1LTF. We are going to plop you right behind this demo spine that we did at the start of this video. So it's just like that. And then grab whatever hab you want. 
I like using the armory. And that is going to go right behind this cowling. And one demo swing A. Make sure the front of the wing is lined up with the nose of this cowling. And do the same thing for this one. Boink! Okay, grab yourself a Nova Bracer. And place it right in the back on the middle. Right there. And now, we need a Nova Weapon Mount. Place it right in front of that bracer. So it looks like that. And now for a wing. And the other demo swing. Bloop. And lastly but not least, don't forget your shield generator. Now you can place this wherever you want. But how about right back here in that nice little cubby hole? You can't even see it. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, I'm going to point out real quick that the max crew will increase once you place weapons. I just took the weapons off because it was a lot easier to explain this video. So now let's paint it. Double click. Click your color. Color 1 is always black. Color 2 is also black. And color 3 is right here. All the way over, all the way over. And I just want to point out, once you do that, see these halves here? I personally am not a fan of how these halves, how the hab color looks. So I highly recommend highlighting the hab only, making that color 3 black. But, you know, dealer's choice. I did discuss weapons at the beginning of this video, but if you are looking for a place to put them, you can place one right on this uh, wing, the other on this wing. You can get two on this first stamel spine. You can get uh, one on every one of these demo swings. And, you know, your demo spine. Two right here, and two on the other side. And like I said at the start of this video, this is an excellent weapon combination, but if you're looking to board ships to steal them because you're a pirate, uh, these weapons will pretty much destroy it before you even have a chance. So, rethink your strategy if you're a pirate. <laughs> Alright folks, that's it for this video. I thank you all for watching, and if you end up building this, hey, do me a favor, press that like button. The more likes I get, the more subscribers I get, the more ship builds I do. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next build.